Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Holly and it's lovely to see you Chaos Army guys back here for some more fun with me. So today we're going to be opening up the brand new set of Sword and Shield Rebel Clash and we're going to be opening up the ECB. So let's have a quick look around this. I am loving this yellow and orange and green going on there with Copper Aja. So without further ado, let's crack into this. Let's have a look at the card list and let's see what we can pull out of this. As I open it in a really awkward way. Now, this literally has been delivered on release day, nine o'clock in the morning. So I intercepted the postman quite quickly, actually, for me, in all honesty, and come straight up to record these videos for you guys. So as always, I'm not going to open this up, but you can actually see there is all the artworks on the inside of that sleeve there. So if you guys like those artworks, then always remember to never get rid of the sleeves. Here is our player's guide, which you always get with every single ETB. And then in the back here, it always gives you a card list as well. So we still need to get Rillaboom. Um, there's quite a few in all honesty that we need to get. But these, you know, these VMAX cards especially look absolutely stunning. Let's skip to the back. Come on, this is what we want to see, isn't it, back here. Look at this page. Now, I am going after the Galarian Berserker because I think it's so cool. Um, I'd like to get Boss's Order as well, but I know lots of people will want to get that. So, um, yeah, let's just go ahead. Let's have a look in here and carry on. Oh, so we get this time, we've got like a little booklet of the card game rules. That's quite cool. Never seen that in ETB before. I like the fact that they're still keeping that divider in there, which is always nice. So there's our wad of packs. You then always get your poison and damage counters. You then have your dice, which are this nice, cool yellow. And the big one here it is actually C3. I don't know if you to see it that well. We've then got our four dividers, our standard pack of energy cards, our sleeves as well. Now, personally, I don't like using these sleeves because they're they're just so beautiful and they're so nice. Um, and I just think, you know, later on down the line, everything Pokemon collectible is, you know, going up in price. So I just think yeah, I'd rather keep them. So I tell you what. Sorry about that. That is actually the cat. If you can hear that strange noise in the background, he's got like this squeaky cat as took toy, which makes this mouse squeaking noise. So he's currently chasing that around downstairs. Now there's the code card for one of you lucky people. And here we have our normal standard eight packs of Rebel Clash. Now you might be thinking, hold on, we've seen 10 packs before. You only tend to get 10 packs in ETB when it's like our holiday or our sunset. Like, so our last one was Hidden Face. Um, and that's because you can't get booster boxes of it. They don't create them. So they give you an extra couple of packs because those things saw up in price. I mean, at the moment, the Hidden Face one is going for about 70, 80 pounds, maybe even higher than that. So let's have a look at these cards. Pokeball. Galarian Farfetch, Honedge, Timepole, Vullaby, Galarian Corsola, Reverse Holographic Pokeball, and a regular rare Galarian Darumanitad. That code card was a little bit bent. I'd rather it be the code cards though, like we had in our pre release than it actually being the cards themselves. Burning Scarf, Stunky, Grubbin, Wingo, Natu, Barboach, 
reverse holographic masquerade and a regular rare greedent. Look how happy he looks in that picture. He's definitely being greedy with all of those sweets. And please guys, only take one code card at the time so that we can try and share these code cards around the Chaos Army as much as possible. Scyther, Nosepass, Wingo, Coffin, Bronzor, Reverse Holographic Dewblade and a regular Rare Spirit Team. Hi Frank. Can you? Thank you. I've obviously got a little help now. He was literally stood right by the side of me, so he might come back over in a minute. There is another code card, guys. Here he is. Going to be nosy again, are you, Frank? So, Metal Energy, Electrode. There you go, you can see him a bit better now. <laughs> Beware, Palisand, Magma, Electabuzz. Squavit, Snova, Natu, Reverse Holographic Galarian Runner Aegis. Oh, and the regular red version of it. How about that? Frank's just decided to lie just by the side of me now on the floor, bless him. So I think he wants to see what pools we're going to get because we haven't got anything so far. Draclock, Lampant, Galarmine, Galeria Mr. Mine, Snova, Pidoof, Galarian Darimaka, Hatiana, Reverse Holographic Pidoof, A, and a Holographic Galarian Weezen, our first pull. And normally your average is about two pulls really per ETB. Um, sometimes it can be more, sometimes it can be less, but that's it tends to be. More Peko, I love that Pokemon, it's so cute. Scoop Up Net, Heracross, Golubin, Electabuzz, Natu, Honedge, Impidimp, Reverse Holographic, Skiwoofit, Skiwoofit. Hey, there we go, guys. Copperaja VMAX. Full art, textured, it, this card is beautiful and it actually is very good in matching the ETB, that's a very appropriate pull. But nice, it's another one we haven't had, so always nice to fill in those little gaps on the binder itself. I've really struggled at the moment to get new binders. Um, everywhere I've been looking, everything seems to be just out of stock, but I have managed to get one. So I can finally spend hours now putting my Rebel Clash into a binder. Toxel, Reverse Holographic Phantom, and a regular rare Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Last pack, guys. Can we get some last pack magic? There is the code card. Four to the front. Water energy. Dan. How's it going, Dan? Carcoal. Heatmore. Scyther. Vullaby. Dreepy. Magma. Galarian Yamask. Reverse holographic Chatot. Nice. And a holographic Galarian Surfetched. Still haven't got my Farfetch to evolve yet in... Um, Pokemon sword, so gutted about that. But anyway, right guys, I'm quickly going to show you guys the three pools that we had. So we've had two holographics, the lovely Galarian Weezing and Galarian Surfetch, and then not forgetting about this gorgeous Copperaja V Max as well. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please do leave a like down below, and if you haven't already, subscribe hit that notification bell and become part of the Chaos Army. Simple as. As always, guys, stay safe, have fun, carry on gaming, and I'll catch you next time.